Uh, it could be, I mean, on the phone, but specifically on the pencil. Okay. All right. So pencil. I want to. I want to build this scenario. This is going to be a pencil. Hey, price, trade, payment. Right. Look. I don't know if you store pencils with interest rate. Okay. Let's pretend it doesn't. If it does. For at this moment, okay, all right. My store never penciled interest rate. Some of you guys that you're, you're you guys get that stuff wrote down. Everybody's different, okay. So tenants, there's no interest rate. Right. Does your store pencil interest rates? We do. Rates? Okay. Yeah. So I'm gonna average. well, I'm gonna act like okay. There's not one. Okay. Okay. Is that cool? Perfect. I'm just gonna ask a simple question. You know what I'm saying? And like Ryan said, it'd be from anywhere. So watch, watch this easy question. Hey, hey, I appreciate all the numbers. Um, what? So what's my interest rate? Completely understand that, Andy. And with less than perfect credit. Your interest rate will definitely be less than perfect. With great credit, your credit, your interest rate will be fantastic. We go through 12 banks, and we. Come on, baby. Right. Right. Hey, that was easy. I know it's easy. Hold on, too. hold on. Hey, listen, I appreciate you giving me all the information, right? What's my interest rate? I understand you want to know your interest rate, but um, I've already showed you the deal. Watch. This is simple. Real simple. Just have it tattooed on your heart. You know what I mean? That way you have immediate response. Half the battle just having something right there where your customer doesn't see you swallow, look away, start sweating, right? So look, if you look like you're hiding something, you're hiding something. Exactly. Exactly. So hey, completely understand. Look, your rate will directly reflect your current credit situation. With great credit, you're gonna get the best available rate. Our licensed finance professionals will go over all that with you in the finance office however what I can tell you is I've never had one person unhappy with that part of the deal so you and your situation you definitely don't need to have any worries so sign right here let's get to the box oh. <laughs> you hear what I'm saying listen some of you guys get stuck on what's my interest rate listen some of you guys getting stuck on that what's my interest rate I promise you man you get into that that ain't your job okay so why are you trying to make it your job and then number two right if you don't know it don't act like you don't know it. Just tell, hey, my licensed finance professionals, they handle that. Look, we've never had one person leave on that part of the deal. So we're extremely great at that. No big deal. Look, if you got great credit, you're going to get a great rate. If you got bad credit, you know what I'm saying? I mean, it just works that way, right? But the idea of it is, is that we're the best. We got 60 lenders. I got you. Done, done, and done, right? Look, do not look like you're hiding something. Some of you guys, they start saying, hey, what's my rate? You guys start really acting weird, man. Okay? No, seriously. Like, you choke, okay? So we're gonna, you, you tattoo this one, we're gonna give it to you, you'll tattoo it, okay? All right, cool. Hey, let's go to the next one. Look, what's the next one? Well, okay, I did, so what's my interest rate? All right, you ready for this one? Hey, so, so watch, the, the man's got the interest rate now, it's sitting right here, right? Okay, let's say he pencils interest rate, and it says, I don't know, 16%, okay? And I say, oh man, I don't wanna pay that interest rate. I completely get that, and think of it like this. Think of it as the price you pay today is, for a future of a lower rate. Blow that whip! Blow that yeah, man. Hey, listen guys, I love it. In the future I'll make that. There's nothing yeah. that I love more than seeing a guy, right, making a buck 10, okay? Look, making a buck 10 and just seeing how damn full this glass could be. Does that make sense? Dude, I'm just telling you, did anybody else catch this? Dude, making 600 grand a year selling cars is there for you. Are you scared of this stuff? No. But he ain't, he ain't comfortable being uncomfortable. Hey, I want to ask you a question. You're the best in your store? No. How about this? Hey, how about being uncommon amongst uncommon people? Let's go. That's what, no, I mean it. Can you guys play and just be the best in your store? Oh, I'm a manager in my store. I do really well. Yeah, but have you competed and compared yourself against all the other managers in the world and seen where you stand up to? No, because you're playing and comparing yourself against average people. Stop it. Stop it. That's why you level up. This is where you decide that, man, you know what? I got holes in my game. Thank God. Thank you for showing me my dang holes. You know why? Because I'm going to fill them. Money's going to quit bleeding out of them, and my success is going to rise, and I'm going to be a better person in my store for my family, for my kids, for everybody. And guess what? The more you come back, the better you get. Every single time you put yourself in uncomfortable, you guys fly here to get uncomfortable. You guys come down here to get uncomfortable because you need a breeding ground for that success. You need it.
Okay, and no one else has ever created it. And if people did create it, most of them are posers and they're fake. You know what I'm saying? They really don't care about seeing you great. When I saw him mess up, I'm not like, man, you messed that one up. You know what I'm thinking? I'm like, holy crap, man. This guy, it's like this bottle. Like he's right here in the water. And he's going to fill this whole thing up. And like, dude, he's going to make so much money, it's going to be crazy, but he's going to get the life that he deserves. You don't get in life what you deserve, you get what you negotiate. You've got to be great with your words. You've got to be able to move, okay? So Eddie watch Elliott it. Elliot is a product of being uncomfortable. Yeah, no, we sit in here and we drill ourselves all the time. And look, when no one's watching so that we're ready. Look, you want to play on the big stage? You want to make some big money in life? Start preparing yourself to play on the big stage. You know what I'm saying? You don't stay down on the small baby stage when you're in here. You come in here, and guess what? We don't care what title you have in life. Titles don't mean anything, all right? I'm going to tell you this, all right? Call me, the, call me the janitor or show me the money, all right? And I'm not saying I'm in this only for money, but I'm telling you this, all right? Being a GM is a person who's decided to give up their selflessness of just taking care of themselves and literally take on babysitting an entire crime. And I, and I hate to say babysitting, but in the beginning, that's what it is because you're having to take and create a culture inside something and dude, it's, it's hard. You give up your family. You give up everything for these people. And most of them, they see you as their boss and they don't see you as their family. And that's a problem. But if you can do it and that's your family, I'm going to tell you this. That family will have a great life and you'll kill it. And I want all you guys to be a GM. I was a great salesman that became a great GM. Dude, it doesn't matter what level you play. Just be, do it all the way and be the best at it. Look, you guys need to pray to run across somebody who's better than you, okay, so that you can crush them. Okay, that's your goal. I'm always waiting to meet the guy or the girl or the woman or the person that can take me head on. They used to all be, and then I got to a point where I trained even for hours and sometimes for days. So I would just wait to meet that person. Look, wait for a bigger guy. Try to get in with the bigger fight. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Be uncommon amongst uncommon people, okay? And that's what we do in here. And I'm going to tell you, wait until a year from now. Wait until a year from now till we see where you guys have come from, especially if you stay plugged in. And it's insane. Closing ratios, I mean, they, they go through the roof, okay? And it's just in all areas. So I hit you with the little simple one. I hit him. He got locked up, right? Okay? And, and by the way, he's going to get home. He's like, damn, I didn't want to say that, okay? But his back's against the wall, so which means I, I immediately tack his <coughs> skill set, okay? And if he doesn't have a skill set in line, he breaks, okay? He's a great winger, but it's hard to wing it when you're in front of people. You know what I'm saying? Right? Okay, cool. So, hey, I, I really appreciate that. You said I got, you know... 18%, right? Yeah, yeah, so I'm not paying 18%. I'm not paying a rate that high. I understand that the interest rate is high, but look, you already told me that you went to three other dealerships and you didn't get approved. Here at New Beginnings, we got you approved. We work with over 30 banks. I got you approved on this one. And you all have, you have to start somewhere, correct? And I understand that your credit is a little low, but we have to start here. And think of it about this. Um, your, interest rate, your interest rate is high right now. But, and you can come back in six to nine months and we can come get you refinanced. And in those six to nine months, your credit will be, will be boosted and we have to start somewhere. I know you want to um, get your own land, get your own home. You have to do that. And here, guy, buying a vehicle and financing a vehicle will get you that jump start in your credit. And, and by the way, hey, it's real simple. Look, look, it's very simple. This is the easiest one. Look, it's so simple. Guy says he don't want to pay that higher rate. I don't care if it's 12%, 15%, right? And then I'm going to go to another deal on rate. But guess what? Hey, Ryan, yeah. I appreciate it, bro. Look, hey, man, I want to pay 18%. Yeah. Hey, look, completely understand. Fr I completely understand you don't want to pay that rate. Andy, frankly, I don't want to give you that rate. But you know the only way we're going to fix that rate is you signing on the dotted line right now, starting your credit reestablishment program today so that, look, in a year from now, you don't have to pay that rate on anything you buy for the rest of your life. Let's go. It's that yeah. simple. It's that simple. Listen to me. Watch this. Don't mirror your customers. Your customer says, Oh, that's a high rate. Don't say, I, don't say, I know that's a high rate. Listen, I, I, no, don't say that. Listen, hey, I, that's a high rate. Hey, when I hear you say it's a high rate, look, we don't want you to pay a high rate. We don't want you to pay anything you don't want to pay. But the fact is, is that paying rates like that, since you don't want to do that, you know the only way to fix that, to start making never paying rates like that, is to sign on the dotted line right now so you never have to pay rates like that again. You know what I'm saying? Look, for the rest of your life, you'll be able to make any financial decision you want for the rest of your life. Sign in on the dotted line right now and going back in and focusing on from today forward. We can't change the past, but we can change the future. We're doing it now. Sign here. Let's go.
Push him through. Does that make sense? Okay. Look, that 30 seconds could have cost you that deal. You know what I'm saying? All right. We're going to go to another one. This is on rate. We're going to hit one more rate and we'll take a quick break. Okay? little curveball. It's on good credit. Yeah, yeah. No, it's on good credit. Because some of you guys are in here like, we only do good credit. I'm like, okay. All right. No, listen. I get it. Like, you guys are in Mercedes and BMW stores. You guys are gifted with these gold nuggets all day long. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Some of us get subprime city, right? You've worked in different markets. You've seen it. Everybody's got different um, credit coming through. So we ball. talk about it all. Yeah. All right. So have you ever had a, a guy and you're giving him a rate? Let's say I'm going to make a point. Yeah. I'm giving you 4.99%. Okay. Okay. Sitting there on the paper. And then I say, hey, I can get 3.99% of my own bank. Okay. So this is going to be, oh, wait. It's, it's not that we're wait. just free balling it. Oh, wait. Okay. Oh, 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 okay. Oh, 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 free balling. Third ball, third ball. Baseball. Baseball. I was like, I, I know what we're talking about. All right. All right, listen. Hey, so this is. I'm like, what? My wife know about this? All right. Hey, listen. My bank hey. offers a better rate. Yeah, so listen. Hey, my bank offers a better rate. You guys got me? Everybody here. This is going to be my bank offers a better rate. You ever heard that before? Okay, how can you get them to pay a higher rate with you instead of going to their bank and paying a lower rate? It ain't going to happen 100% of the time, but it's good for you to take a crack at it if you're presenting rate, okay? So, it's going to be simple. Hey, listen, 4.99%, here's the price, you know what I'm saying, real easy. Let's say I don't have an objection about anything, but I say, hey man, look, my bank offers a better rate, I can get 3.99%. Completely understand that, Andy. I don't even know where to go on that, to be okay, honest Okay, hold on, hold on. You're good, you're good. Hold on. Hey, appreciate you, but my bank offers a better rate. Look, I understand that your bank offers a better rate, but to be able to boost your credit, we need to work with different types of uh, banking. That was great. That was great. You're going on a great time. Look, look, do me a favor. Trust your intuition. Does that make sense? When you're going on something, attack it. Look, if you're going to say something wrong, at least say it with passion and go all in. There's a good chance. There's times that I've done the math wrong with people. I'm like, guys, you know, so if you take the 280 payment, right, and you pay it for 12 months, guys, that's $17,000. And if you take that, look how much money I just saved you. And they're like, yeah, let's do it. Because I'm so convicted. So when you mess up, listen, I just want to explain this to you. If you guys... Learning word tracks is not like, if I don't say it perfect, like, oh, no, no, let me back up. I didn't mean to say it. No, 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 no. Roll, roll. You, guys, they don't know what you're doing. You think that people think automotive sales pros are doing training to get better at them? No. <laughs> they know you're winging it. They don't think that you could help them in any way, shape, or form until you do. Okay? Everybody says it can't be done until it is. And then guess what? If you went to Starbucks and they said, hey, tell me about what you think about car salespeople. They'd be like, cheats, liars, scams, thieves, robbers. You know what I'm saying? But what do they say after they meet you? That's what I care about. What do they say after they meet you? Listen, you go in prepared and you will blow them out of the water. Okay? The things that they used to get away with, they can't anymore. And I'm going to tell you this. Your competition ain't training. It's easy right now. It's easy hunting. Very easy hunting. Okay? Yeah. All right, Ryan. This is going to be simple. Hey, Ryan, I appreciate you. Look, I got four. Hey, you're giving me four nine nine. I got three nine nine in my own bank. So, you know what I'm saying? I, you know, my, my bank offers a better rate. Yeah, hey, look, completely understand. Like 99% of my customers, just like you, who have great credit, they don't like to put all their eggs in one basket. Look, it's always beneficial to diversify your loans with different institutions, okay? We use nationwide lenders that report to all three bureaus in all 50 states. It looks so much better on your credit and the slight difference in payment, I mean, it's really nothing. Yeah, so, but Ryan, I'm already a 780 credit score. Hey, completely understand, Andy. Have you ever wondered why you're not at 850? I taught him that. Hey, listen. Blood in the water. Hey, listen. Hey, does that help you guys out? Hey, where, where's our guys in Iowa? at the BMW Mercedes. Did I say that same thing when we were there? He stole that from me, bro. Okay? No, listen, hey, all the word tracks, everything we